okay so box plot basically gives you a visual representation of the data so you have the values of q1 q2 q3 so using those values you have to draw this kind of box plot so uh, it has to be uh, uh, you need to draw this thing uh, on a graph paper but for the time being i will just sketch this thing so for any box plot this is lower quartile which is q1 then median is actually q2 then upper quartile is q3 so based on the values that's that's your lower limit that's the upper as in lower lowest value highest value uh, and then we have this outlier i will discuss this outlier later let me start with the basic thing first so you can actually just draw this box plot if you know the values for q1 q2 and q3 so suppose this is uh, an example number one i will start with this one so to like i said uh, to do this thing you need to find the values of q1 q2 and q3 so suppose we have one two three four five six seven eight nine nine data so n equals nine right so in this map n equals nine so let me start with finding the q1 q2 q3 q1 is for q1 what do we do it's just n by four right so nine by four is actually 2.25 so since it's a decimal you need to take the next term so which is basically the third term so 1 2 3 so q1 is 44 so from the given information q1 is 44 okay next we need to calculate q2 q2 so for q2 it's just uh, you need to find n by 2 so 9 by 2 is 4.5 so you just need to take the next term which is fifth term so q2 is fifth term so 1 2 3 4 5 so it's 48 then q3 so q3 is 3 into 9 by 4 so 6.75 it's just the position right it's not the value of q3 uh, so since it's a decimal you need to take the next term so it's just the seventh term of the given data so seventh term is q3 so one two three four five six seven so 52 so uh, and uh, based on this data the lowest one is 40 the highest value is 56 so if i plot uh, this thing uh, you need to plot this thing on a graph paper but for the time being i'm just sketching this here maintaining a scale so the lowest value here is 40 right and highest is 56 so let me start with 30 so suppose i'm taking 30 then this is that's 35 40 45 50 55 and then suppose that's 60 okay so uh, these are the uh, now you just need to plot the uh, points so q1 is 44 so it's somewhere over here so q1 q2 is 48 so 46 7 8 9 so suppose that's here then 52 51 2 so 50 51 52 So this height of this box doesn't matter uh, while solving this on a graph paper you can just use one centimeter box that's it like you can just draw it like this using a distance of one centimeter as in this value matters horizontal distance you need that needs to be accurate so that's the box so q1 q2 q3 and then the lowest value is 40 so somewhere over here and highest is 56 so if I draw this line you just need to close this thing using a bar so like that's the uh, end of the that's the limit actually that as in the, that's the last value so that's the boundary so this is how the box plot of data of this example one looks like so as you can see we have covered this thing lower quart lower quartile median upper quartile 
and highest value lowest value but then again we are left with this one single thing outlier so what's that so let me discuss the outlier thing first and then we will come here like outlier is an extreme value which is actually uh, deviated from the majority of the data so it can be a high uh, a value which is way too high than the average value here like suppose I'm taking 80 so all the data are in between this 40 to 50 range but out of nowhere this data is 80 so that's an outlier that could be an outlier okay so uh, so the thing is it can be an exceptional value or it uh, it is by mistake you included that so whatever the situation is we actually try to take values which are actually closer together as in uh, which would be a best representation of the entire thing right so sometimes we need to exclude some data which are way too high compared to the majority of the data or way too low like suppose if you have a value of five or six in that case that could be an outlier so how uh, like what what's the boundary which values should we consider outliers right suppose we have 62 so in that case the, you can actually ask whether 62 will be an outlier or not right because the gap is way too less compared to 80 so the thing is we have to find the limits we have to calculate the limits then we need to check whether the values are outside this range or within the range so we need need a lower limit and the upper limit so if the values are within the limit then it's okay but if some values are out of the range in that case you need to consider them as outliers okay so how do we actually calculate that so as you can see the upper limit should be greater uh, should be around here right so that's why it has to be greater than the upper quartile plus 1.5 into interquartile range as in instead of using this line let me write with the uh, as in uh, let me express this thing in mathematical form as in uh, it has to be greater than upper quartile which is basically q3 plus 1.5 interquartile range interquartile range is actually q3 minus q1 right so q3 minus q1 similarly the uh, the lower limit has to be in this side right so it has to be less than q1 so it's less than the lower quartile so q1 minus 1.5 q3 minus q1 so these are the formula these are the formula so uh, formulas so in the exam hall if if it's given one instead of 1.5 if if the question says 1 or 1 1.8 in that case you have to use that value okay but in general if nothing is mentioned in that case you you can take 1.5 here the coefficient here okay so these two formulas using these two formulas you actually calculate the limits as in the boundary that will actually decide whether we have any outliers or not so let me find that for this example number one so for example number one we have q1 q2 q3 right so if we substitute q3 q3 q1 in that case the upper limit will be let me check q3 is 52 plus 1.5 into 52 minus 44 so it's 64 okay and the lower limit uh, if we substitute q1 q3 in this equation 44 minus 1.5 into 52 minus 44 so it's 32 okay so uh, for example number one as you can see for example number one the limits are 32 and 64 as in uh, for the upper one we got 64 and the lower one we got 32 so it means for this example for this example the if the values are within 32 to 64 it means we do not have any outliers so let me check 32 so as in we do not have any value less than 32 similarly 64 so we do not have any value that exceeds 64 in that case we do not have any outliers here but suppose in this math we have uh, for example we have a data which is suppose 5 okay we have 10 data and that's that's 5 the lowest one is 5 and if the limits are 32 64 for example so 32 and 64 are your limit 
but this 5 is out of the range right which is way too less than 32 so that's why that uh, 5 is an outlier in that case you cannot just extend that bar to 5 because 5 is something we need to exclude okay so uh, suppose this is 0 10 for example so 5 is somewhere over here so you just draw a cross okay so drawing a cross actually indicates uh, actually indicates that we have a value here which is 5 but that's an outlier which is way too uh, less than the majority of the data so that's why we have excluded that we are not including this within this box box plot so uh, we just you just mentioned that with a cross that's it so that's if we had actually five we if we had another value five which was outside this range but the example i saw we had values from 40 to 56 and the range was 32 to 64 so none of the values none of the values will actually uh, ex exceed this limit not the upper limit or less than the lower limit the values all the values are within this range so that's why no crossing is shown here okay so this it's the final box plot for this diagram so that's example number one we have q1 q2 q3 so i have mentioned that uh, i have indicated that here and uh, the lowest value is 40 the highest value is 56 so that's where the bar closes so as in uh, as in uh, this indicates the lowest and highest value of your available data so that's example number one so let me solve another example in which we do have outliers so that's uh, that's uh, that's number two example number two so suppose 38 40 30 42 44 so these are the values so q1 in this case is actually 42 q2 is 48 q3 is 54 uh, let me cross check that again the data are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so we have 11 data here 11 by 4 is 2.75 so third term is your q1 then Q3 is 9th term, 3, 3, 3, so 9th term, 54, yeah, then fifth, uh, uh, Q2, so 11 by 2, 5.5, so 6th term, so, uh, wait a minute, 6th uh, term, so 48, yeah, so these, uh, from the given value, we have Q1, Q2, and Q3, so for this case, if we start the box plot, Okay, if we start the box plot, uh, let me check the values. The values are uh, 38 to 75. So let me start from 30 then. So 30. So that's 40. 50. 60. 70. And okay. And then suppose that's 80 okay so uh, we need to mention the q1 q2 q3 first so q1 is 42 so if that's 40 so 41 42 somewhere over here then q2 is 48 so here it is then 54 50 51 52 53 54 somewhere over here so uh, like i said you need to draw this thing on a graph paper at the exam hall but for the time being i'm just sketching this thing maintaining a scale that's it so q1 q2 q3 i'm done with them and what's the lowest value 38 so it's here and what's the highest value 75 so you just cannot draw this thing like that okay i have draw uh, i have uh, completed this thing but the thing is we need to check whether we have any outliers or not okay we need to check whether we have any outliers or not so for that we need to use this formula q3 q3 plus 1.5 uh, this thing so if you substitute the value the limits are let me check so q uh, Q, uh, let me start with this one so q1 is 42 q3 is 54 so if i substitute these values it's actually 42 minus 
54 minus 42 so it's 24 it's 24 you need to show that working okay you need to show that working that you have substituted these values and calculated this okay let me show it that here so q3 plus 1.5 q3 plus 1.5 plus 3 minus q1 is actually 24 then q1 minus 1.5 q3 minus q1 it's wait a minute so this is 24 and let me check the other one so q3 is 54 plus 1.5 54 minus 42 which is actually 72 so as you can see we have uh, our outlier because the limits are actually 24 to 70 uh, 72 right so it means any values which are outside this range uh, will be considered as an outlier so as you can see at the lower side, uh, at the lo lower side, uh, the l uh, outlier limit is for 24, but we do not have any data here. So that's why this side is okay. Okay, th this is, we do not need to change this one. It's okay. The lowest value is actually 38. That's completely okay. But at the highest side, the 72 is your limit. 72 is your limit. So this value, which was actually 75, is an outlier. So that's why you need to cross this thing, like... You need to draw 75 is here so you need to draw a cross at 75 to indicate that uh, we have an outlier at 75 so that's the outlier and what about this thing so most of the student thinks that uh, maybe the bar will close at 72 right but no you need to check your data if 75 is your outlier then we are actually taking up to this right so uh, if you consider this portion only the lowest data is 56 now so that's why you need to remove this thing all the way down to 56 so 55 uh, sorry 54 56 is somewhere over here so that's where the limit ends okay so this is your final data sorry this is your final box plot where your lowest value is 38 your high, uh, highest value is 56 and then you have uh, outlier so make sure that you do not stop this thing at 72 because you need to understand that 72 is not your data we do not have any value at 72 right 72 is just a limit this 24 similarly we cannot just extend this thing up to 24 because 24 72 these are not a part of my data Okay, they, we do not have any data at 24 or 72. It's just a range that is used to actually cross check whether we have any outliers or not. So if this is an outlier, then you have to move back to the uh, second highest value, which is 56. So you need to close this thing here. And uh, like I said, we do not have any outlier, so that's correct. You just need to uh, modify this portion. So this is the final look. That's how I draw it. I, I start with the entire thing and then I uh, actually indicate any outliers and then correct the bar. But it's up to you. If you want to start the math with outliers first and then draw, then it's up to you. Okay. So I, I prefer doing this thing to make sure that you understand this whole thing that you cannot just stop at 72. You need to go to 56. So that's why I started the math with the entire thing. Okay, so that's example number two, in which we have an outlier. Uh, have an outlier at 75, and that's example number one in which we do not have any outliers. But in both the cases, if it's not mentioned that uh, sometimes the question says that we do not have any outliers, draw the box plot. In that case, you do not even need to check. But if nothing is mentioned in the, in that case, you check using this formula. And if formula is given with 1.8 or something, then you need to use that one. Okay, so that's all about box plot and outliers.